some research on it. <sighs> We're back to the lab. So, let's start the research. <laughs>
pistil and stamen in a flower. We have observed the male reproductive part under the dissecting um, microscope. We can see that they consist of filament and enter, while the female reproductive part consists of stigma, steel, and ovary. The flower is monoecious plant, which is has male and female in each flower. In this flower, it has three stamen and one pistil. Next, let's discuss on how the seed of the tamarind develop. First thing first, we have to know the description of the seed. It, it is hard, flattened, glossy and has endocrine. It is, it is a brown in color and has a leathery skin. Tamarind seed is a true seed. It developed from fertilization process and from the matured ovule. It is dicotyledonous seed, which means it has a two cotyledon in it. It covered by the seed coat and it involves epigeal germination. This is a part of the seed. It consists of seed coat, cotyledon and endosper and embryo. Okay, we move to the question on how the fruit of the tamarind develop. Okay. Tamarind fruit is a true fruit. Uh, the fruit is developed from the ovary uh, and it occurs from the pollination and fertilization. Ovary develop into a legumes, fruit technically called as a legume or pod. Pollination occurs in a tamarind fruit. The mode of pollination is cross pollination. It, uh, the pollination is through agents of insects. So that's we're gonna proceed with embryo development. The ovule of tamarind is diploid embryo by double fertilization. Ovules of tamarind possess two integuments which originated almost simultaneously. Both integuments took part in formation of mycopi. The archisporous cell differentiate from third layer of nucellus. Functional megaspore mother cell give rise to a linear tetrad megaspores of which only Kalaza megaspore was functional. Development of embryo sac correspond to the normal or polygonum type. Fusion of polynuclei took place before fertilization. Synergy did not show any filiform apparatus. So what about the endosperm development? So we're going to discuss about it. Why the endosperm is formed, the primary endosperm nucleus. Its formation starts before the formation of embryo. Primary endosperm nucleus is produced by fusion of monoploid polar nucleus, which is secondary nucleus, and a monoploid second male gamete. The endosperm is thus triploid, which is 3N. So, babes, are you enjoy with our research? Do you gain knowledge from our research? I hope you gain something. So thank you to Dr. Nohayati and uh, our fellow friends. That's all from us. Bye!